Hi friends, welcome. My name is Michelle. If we don't know each other already, I'm here with you from Thailand this morning, um, here on retreat this week, um, but wanted to be with you for a short um, grounding flow with the intention of moving through, not pushing through, not stepping around, but to move through whatever's present for you, right? Whatever needs to move through, in and through the body. I won't give it much more preamble <laughs> than that. Just a simple flow to, to move in our bodies and in our breath. So as always, as often, <laughs> we begin in a seat. And that can look like a tall seat. It might be supported by a pillow or a chair. We might also lie down. <laughs> be in a space that feels open, open for breath to move. A space that feels supported. And then you can choose to Keep your eyes open, your gaze soft, or maybe drop your eyes closed. But take a moment to notice the space that you're in, the sensations, the sounds, the smells. If your eyes are open, you might notice some textures, some colors, Maybe you can hear the motorbikes going by from my space as well. Let all of this be supportive space. Let it be part of the reality that you move through. And to encourage breath to move freely, imagine a channel, an open pathway from the earth up through the root of your seat, along your spine, through your limbs, up through your crown. Perhaps that inspires you to sit a little bit taller. And we'll simply tune toward breath and the resonance that exists between us and within us with the sound of OM together. Just where you are. Find a steady breath in, a full breath out. And toward OM, a breath in. Ooh. Allow that resonance to stay with you, to move through all your cells <laughs> and let yourself expand with breath toward any movement that feels right a stretch a reach a roll around <laughs> and as you do that make sure you've got a little space around you to move yeah <clears throat> Sit steady, but reach tall with the next breath in. Big, long stretch, and then swim your right arm back, your left arm forward, 
And just let your left hand land where it lands. Both hands land where they land. Take a breath to lengthen your spine. And exhale to soften into the twist. Inhale back through center. Sweep both arms out and up. And then swim your left arm back, right arm forward. And again, just a breath to lengthen and open. And exhale to soften in. Inhale, both arms up tall. And when you exhale, peel your elbows wide as if they could draw back toward each other and down to lift your sternum, lift the heart space. Take a full breath in here. And an exhale, bring your fingertips down to the earth. Really press down into them, again, to lift the heart space. Maybe your hips even lift a little bit, that's okay. You have that rootedness through the breath, through the fingers. And let it go with an exhale. And we're moving toward a tabletop shape now. Take your time, and as always, adjust as you need to as you get here, right? Any movement that sort of calls you. And right away, as you're here, as you're rooting down through your palms, and feeling that space between your shoulder blades open up, Tuck your toes to feel that space at the bottom of your feet, the soles of your feet sort of open up as well, just like your palms are opening up against the earth. And just once with the knees down, we'll find a cow spine, lift through your tail, lift through the back of your skull, open the front body. And as you exhale, press into the earth, round your spine, lift through your belly. Same thing, but hover your knees off the earth. Find that cow spine. Lift the back of your heart. Exhale, round. Inhale, almost toward a cow spine, but press your hips back toward a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Here with the exhale, soften in your knees, hug through your arm bones to keep that space open at the back. Inhale, press through your palms, reach your hips back. And as you exhale, wave forward toward plank, lengthen your spine. And then again, bend your knees, draw back. Breath in, Adho Mukha. Exhale, lift and wave forward. Bend your knees, draw back, inhale. As you exhale, lift your hips to round to draw your right knee toward your nose and step forward. Might take more than one step. <laughs> let, let the back knee come down. Take a moment this first time to hug in through your legs. And again, root down into the earth through your right foot. Your fingertips will get a little lighter. Press down to reach tall Anjaniyasana. Exhale, let your right hand drop down to the right. Maybe right hand to your hip. Maybe it just reaches in the direction of the floor. Use an inhale to roll your left ribs back just a little. And then as you exhale, twist, swim your left arm forward, right arm back. Find a breath in and breath out. Keep the twist, bring your left hand toward the earth. Tuck your toes behind you to lift your back knee. Hug through your legs, expand along your, the back of your heart and all the way across your wingspan. And then bring your right hand down inside your right leg. Turn your toes left and shift your weight to the left skandhasana. Turn yourself toward the back of the mat and step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Full breath in and out. Soften your knees, press into your palms, breath in. Exhale, lift your hips, wave forward, downward staff or plank. Bend your knees, draw back through your hips. Exhale, wave forward. Bend your knees, draw back. 
Exhale, lift your hips round as you pull your left knee toward your nose. Step forward, the back knee down. Again, taking a moment this first time to hug through your legs. Press down through your left foot. Feel your fingers get light. And as you inhale, reach tall. And as you exhale, let your left hand dip down to the left, lean left. Inhale here, rolling your right ribs back and over. And then exhale, swim your right hand forward to twist. Breath in. Breath out, tip forward, right hand to the earth. Tuck your toes behind you, lift your back knee. That back leg is really strong here. Space across the wingspan. Next exhale, bring your left hand down inside your left leg. Again, simply turning your toes to the right, shifting your weight right, bending your right knee. Turn to the front of the mat, root your hands, and step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breath in, breath out. Soften your knees, drop back through your hips, inhale. Exhale, wave forward, downward stuff. Extend through your spine, inhale. This time, come all the way down to the earth. All the way to your forehead down. Walk your hands back just a smidge, yeah. Thumbs at the nipple line. Press down through the tops of your feet, through the front of your forehead. Feel that grounding space. And an inhale along the length of your body. And an exhale. Next, inhale toward a baby cobra pose, bhujangasana. Press into the earth to lift your heart forward. Soften it with the exhale. One more time. Inhale to reach forward through the heart, back through the elbows. Stay lifted, but press through hands and knees to come back to that tabletop shape. Tuck your toes and draw back downward facing dog. Karo Mukha Svanasana. Breath in. Breath out. Building on that. Inhale, drop back through your hips. Exhale, wave forward. Lengthen out, bend your knees, draw back. Right knee toward your nose, round your spine, step forward. Back knee down, arms to the sky, inhale, pressing through the right leg. Exhale, right hand down. Stay with the inhale, expand. Exhale to twist, left arm forward. Breath in. Exhale, tip your left hand down to the earth. Lift your back knee, inhale. Exhale, right hand down inside your right leg. Turn your toes left, shift your weight left. Maybe you start to float the hands this time. Turning to the back of the mat. This time, pour your weight forward into your left foot to step forward fold, Uttanasana. Take a moment to breathe, like you could breathe through your feet, up through your hips. And exhale along your spine, through the crown of your head. Root your feet, inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. All the way to stand, root your feet, reach tall. Exhale, peel your elbow points wide, lean it back any amount. Stay with your inhale, press through your feet, lift your heart. Exhale, back to center, hands to heart. Just once here, a breath in. And a breath out. Rooted here through your feet. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, pour forward again, Uttanasana. Bend your knees, root your hands and step back. Or jump back if that's your jam. <laughs> Downward facing dog is where we meet. A breath in. A breath out. Bend your knees, draw back. Exhale, wave forward, lengthen your spine, bend your knees, drop back, inhale. Exhale, left knee toward your nose, step forward, back knee down. Inhale, arms to the sky, Anjani Asana. Exhale, left hand drops heavy. Inhale there, expand. 
Exhale, twist, right arm forward. Breath in. Exhale, tip forward, right hand to the earth. Back knee lifts, expand. Left hand inside your left leg. Turn your toes to the right, shift your weight right, right knee bends. Inhale, turn to the front of the mat. Again, pour your weight forward, step forward, fold. With your inhale, lengthen your spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way to stand, reach tall. Once again, peel your elbows wide. Maybe some softness in your knees to root down and lift the heart space. Exhale, hands to heart. Breath in through the whole body. Breath out. Inhale to the sky, reach taller to Hastasana. Exhale, pour forward, fold. Bend your knees, step or float back. Downward facing dog. Pull back, inhale. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale, in your plank, downward staff. Exhale, lower all the way to the earth or knees, chest and chin. Slither through toward cobra or upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Meeting together in downward facing dog, press through your hands to lift back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Already, just one more round to go. Soften your knees, draw back. Exhale, wave forward. Lengthen and then bend your knees. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, right knee toward your nose. Step forward. Your choice, back knee up or down, but press through your right foot, lift your hands. Exhale, right hand down to the right, breath in. Exhale to twist. Breath in here. Exhale, tip your left hand forward to the earth. Back knee lifted if it's not already. Listen, sweep your right arm back, down toward the earth, and then forward. Both arms reach forward. A big breath through your whole body. Exhale, sweep your left arm back, warrior two. A breath in, hug in. Exhale, expand. Press into the earth, right arm to the sky, lift up and back. Exhale, both hands inside your right leg. Turn your toes left, shift your weight left, skandasana. Inhale to the back of the mat. We'll bring it back, downward facing dog. Continue the flow, breath in. Breath out. Hug your arm bones, lift your hips back. Wave forward, downward staff. Lengthen, bend your knees, draw back. Exhale, left knee to your nose, step forward. Back knee up or down, rise, arms to the sky. Exhale, left hand drips down. Stay, inhale, expand. Exhale, right arm forward. Breath in. Exhale, lengthen out as you tip your right hand down. Open up, inhale. Exhale, left arm swims back and down and forward. Both arms reach forward, lengthen out. Then sweep your right arm back. Warrior two, breath in, breath out. Press through both feet, lift your heart, left arm back. Exhale, both hands inside your left leg. Turn your toes right, shift your weight right, skandasana. Let's stay here. At least stay toward the side of the mat. Shift your weight left. You can shift it back and forth a little bit. We're looking for a wide-legged fold. So kind of slither your way there. So extend both legs, more or less. Feel free to bring some blocks or other supports underneath your hands. But as before, feel yourself like as if you could breathe in through the soles of your feet and up through your sitting bones. 
and then down along your spine toward the earth. Shoulders keep drawing back away from your ears. Full body breath in, breath out. Press through your feet, inhale to lengthen your spine any amount. Exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale, shift the weight right, bend your right knee. Exhale, turn to the front of the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. One more time, draw back. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale there, lengthen up. Lower all the way to the earth or knees, chest and chin to the earth. Slither forward, cobra or upward facing dog. Just once more, feel yourself rooting to expand. Full body breath in. Exhale, soften down toward the earth. We'll meet back in a tabletop shape where we begin. <coughs> Again, even here, imagine, let's say this time, breathe in through your hands up to the back of your heart. And then again, exhale out along your spine, and maybe through your feet. Press through your left hand to draw your right elbow or your right fingers up to the sky, and it's depending on how your shoulders feel. And then as you exhale, thread your right arm along your ribs and over to the left. Again, inhale, open up to the right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread through. Stay here with your inhale. Feel the length of your spine. And then lower down. You can bring your right elbow to the floor. If that's not happening, you might just turn your right fingers down to the floor so you've got support in this twist. You could come all the way down to bring your right temple to the earth or not. <laughs> but feel still that open channel for breath to move. Just another breath here to the back of your heart. Exhale along your spine. Replant your left hand. Come back to center. To the left, press through your right hand, peel your left elbow or fingers up to the sky. Thread your left arm through to the right. Really keep it close to your ribs. Inhale, peel open. Exhale, thread through. Take an inhale there, feel the length of your spine and then soften into the twist, maybe left elbow to the floor, maybe it's the left fingertips, maybe it's all the way to your left temple on the floor. But stay open so that things can move through. Inhale back through center. Find your way back toward a seat and then down onto your back. Yeah, we're keeping things nice and simple. I should say, if you want to finish your practice in a seat rather than Shavasana, you'll want, you might want to just stay seated now. <laughs> yeah. But coming down toward your back if that's where you're headed. And take a moment here and just see what you need. <laughs> my body wants to keep my feet on the earth, for example. <laughs> I'm going to walk my feet a bit wider and let my knees rest against each other. Maybe there's more movement that you need, another shape, another stretch before you can be still. Traditionally, we 
will have a symmetrical shape in between the twisting and shavasana. So if that feels like something you want, you can find that now. Otherwise, we're moving toward stillness. And stillness and openness both can be scary. In both cases, it's trust. Yeah. In stillness, we're trusting that we've done what we need to do, that we have this moment to be here. In staying open, we trust that anything we allow to move through can be processed and released. The nutrients will stay with us and the waste will go. Here so often about drawing in what you need and pushing out all that doesn't serve you. And I think in doing so, we neglect this truth of breath. Breath that we don't have to pull in and push out just to be open for it to move through. Allow yourself a few moments supported, connected, open to be here. Allow yourself to be in stillness, supported, connected, and open here for as long as you can. And that's shorter practices. We want you to know You've done enough to rest here. So this is where I'll leave you. But once more with the offering of Om, the sound that moves through and connects us to what came before, to where we'll go, and to each other in this moment.
I bow to you with love, with gratitude as always. Be well. Be good to each other. We'll see each other soon.